Welcome to this debate series on corruption. In this series, we select seven very important national issues, mainly issues initiated by the government of Guyana and issues that have generated quite a bit of controversy related <coughs> to suggestions of corruption. We intend to highlight these issues over a series of seven programs with the hope that they will be analyzed, the issues will be analyzed, and the public duly informed. This is the first in the series, and in this discussion, we focus the Amaila Falls hydroelectric project. We will attempt to engage and debate every issue regarding the project with the aim of separating the facts from the propaganda and all of the, the controversies that have surrounded this project. I am Al Crichton, and with me are members of a very distinguished panel. The, the panel will comprise the Honorable Prime Minister of Guyana, Mr. Samuel Hines, Mr. Manzur, the Honorable Manzur Nadir, Member of Parliament and representing the People's Progressive Party Civic, the Honorable Mr. Kemraj Ramjatan, Attorney at Law, the leader of the Alliance for Change and a Member of Parliament. The Honorable Mr. Carl Greenidge, a Member of Parliament representing the APNU. And Mr. Mohindra Neil Chand, who is the President of the Guyana Manufacturers, the Guyana Manufacturers and Services Association and our expert, the man who has technical knowledge of the Amaila Falls Electric Project, Mr. Barrett Dindial. And they will be interrogating the Amaila Falls Electricity Project. And we are going to be directing our questions to them. And hopefully, during the course of this debate, we will get to the bottom of several issues concerning the Amaila Falls electric project. Now, to just to remind you about some of the kinds of procedures where these kind of debates are concerned, we are going to have to insist that the speakers are very precise and brief in making their interventions. I hope I do not have to cut anyone, but it, it might well become necessary, and I hope it does not, <laughs> that we have to do this in, in the interest of keeping to the limited time that we have in this debate. The other thing is that while I might direct questions to specific persons sometimes, anyone is free to intervene even if the, the question was not put specifically to them. And that is the, the way that we, will, that we will proceed in this debate. We're going to begin with information. The first two questions that I'm going to direct would largely just be for information. And that is why the first question is going to be directed to Mr. Barrett Dindial, the expert on the Amayla Falls project. And I'm going to ask him to tell us very clearly and, and succinctly what is the, 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 the Amayla Falls Electricity Project. Well, Al, the uh, Amayla Falls Electricity Project is a 165 megawatt <coughs> um, generating facility um, delivering power through a 278 kilometer, 230 kV double circuit transmission line, both to Linden and to Sapphire. Okay, and this, this project is, is eventually 
going to supply the whole country with elect with electricity? Well, not the entire country, but wherever GPL um, grid extends. And in mm -hmm. fact, um, our current plans is to um, ensure that all our consumers in Eskil with Emiram Barbies could access hydropower. Yeah. As information I have, we basically focus Georgetown and Linden. And the power comes, comes down through lines from the location of the project through Linden into Georgetown. Right. And from Georgetown, we have a network that we're constructing now to deliver power to all the load centers in Eskil with Emiram Barbies. Okay, thank you very much. And now I would like to invite the Honorable Prime Minister to give us the government's vision for this project and to give us an idea of how, how do you see this project of benefit? Is, it a, is the project necessary? How is it of benefit to the nation? Well, thank you very much, Al. And let me say the government welcomes this series of programs because we believe that many of the criticisms and allegations made uh, result from uh, not having enough information. Uh, currently, we, we import fuel uh, to generate electricity, and I think altogether we may think of about 130, 140 million U.S. dollars uh, per year in fuel being imported. Uh, GPL imports mainly heavy fuel oil, but also diesel. Other people uh, who may come on the grid import diesel too. Uh, and we are looking to replace this outflow uh, with about 100, 105 million dollars US per year over 20 years in repaying for the Amila project. And after 20 years, it will be transferred to the government. It's a boot arrangement. So here we are replacing uh, of that uh, outflow. It and PM, it's not insignificant that during the period we had the privatization of the Ghana Power and Light. And at that time, getting the new company who owned GPL to commit to any power purchase agreement was almost like pulling the largest yes they had they had more of a say they had a say it was their call they were it, was, it was their, it wasn't okay. their judgment all right yes. we have we have been looking first at these uh, particular issues of the project and uh, um if the other two panelists mr chand and and mr yes. dindial have any intervention on the on this aspect of it we really invite them to make these now before we go into a break if not we'll go straight to the break Okay. Uh, I just want to clarify, yeah. um, in terms of FIPS contract, the access road, it wasn't for construction of the transmission line, it was the access road and the transmission line. The right corridor. of way for the transmission yes. line. So it wasn't yeah. a line problem. No, no, it, it wasn't. Was I know that. Yeah. Okay, we, we go to a break. Good evening again and welcome to the Feedback Desk. Um, we have some more comments coming in as the debate continues. Our first comment um, by a viewer, Dave Martindale, is directed to Mr. Kemraj Ramjatan. His question is, that, uh, he said, Mr. my question is directed to Mr. Kemraj Ramjatan and it surrounds his criticisms of the former road contractor, Mr. Fip Motilal. Isn't it conflicting that you have leveled so many allegations regarding Mr. Motilal's competence Yet, Mr. Kathy Huge, a senior member of your party, played a major role during Motilal's involvement with the project. Wasn't it the morally correct thing for Mr. Huge to remove herself, given that her party saw Motilal has been incapable of delivering on his part, of which he was contractually obligated to fulfill? Mr. Baldio Matura is saying hydroelectricity is a far cheaper and cleaner means of providing power. And since GPL has been the source of many frustrations, any move to provide relief is commendable. I have also noted that the opposition in recognition of the... And none of us have the luxury of that. Thank you, Mr. Ramjatan, followed by Mr. Dindial. Yeah, thanks very much, um, Al. Let me say that if there is one sector that we feel has to have tremendous improvement in, it's the energy sector. And we have seen line losses, we have seen theft in the industry by citizens, I must say mm -hmm. and be brutally frank about it, um, and a number of negatives. We feel a huge hydroelectric uh, facility like this, 165 megawatt, is the thing. It will be a kind of a panacea. But 
the conditionalities for its coming into being will have to be with the proper decisions, as was mentioned um, by Carl, and of course, by the public at every step being informed, so that they know, and it is with their prior, um, the, the information, they're going to give consent to it. And that is all with the Alliance for Change is saying. As a concept, nobody in his right mind ought not to support such a, a, a beautiful thing as a hydro facility. But are we going to get the best deal? Because when we had the skeleton factory, we were saying wonderful. And then look what happened. And it has happened so many times. And we have spent a lot of money in the energy sector for 20 years now. And we still remain in the doldrums, as it were. So we are simply asking people, bear with our scrutinizing attributes here in relation to every item. Listen to us, because we are not saying silly.